Well, CBD is becoming big business in Florida right now, and companies selling the hemp-based product are facing new state regulations. The first round of inspections are underway, meant to ensure consumers are getting quality CBD products. Jake Stofan takes a look. Businesses like Natural Life in the state's capital city are already undergoing their first round of inspections just days after the Department of Agriculture published its new rules regulating CBD products in the state. We'll be completely inspected and done by the end of this week. We caught up with owner Gabe Suarez just after completing one of his first inspections. Having all players have to play by these rules will weed out the bad, dishonest players and shed light on the proper honest players. The goal of the inspections is to ensure the products are properly labeled, free of contaminants like pesticides, and contain the CBD levels that are advertised. Suarez says those are all quality controls his company had already implemented. So it has very minimal effect on us. But as Taylor Beal with the Florida Hemp Association points out, for smaller retailers, compliance may be more difficult. From a quality control standpoint, I mean, this is imperative. Uh, you know, you had a lot of, you know, you know, quote unquote, snake oil out there. Companies found to be out of compliance will have between 30 and 45 days to conform with the new rules. The state is still waiting on the federal government to finalize its rules for hemp cultivation, the plant from which CBD is derived. Once those rules are finalized, CBD retailers hope their products will be able to carry the fresh from Florida label. The Department of Agriculture expects to have hemp cultivation rules finalized early this year. FAMU and UF are already cultivating some test plots as part of the learning curve to growing the crop here in Florida. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, WCTV Eyewitness News. And businesses that want to sell CBD are required to buy an annual permit from the Department of Agriculture. The cost of that, $650.